Hello, I'm Lelda Smits for the Finance News Network and joining me from Oz Asia Minerals is its Executive Chairman, Robert Swarbrick. Robert, welcome to FNN. Oh, thanks for having me. Oz Asia Minerals is developing low-cost iron ore and coal opportunities in Indonesia. What appeals to you about the country? Um, Indonesia's got enormous uh, growth potential. It's got 280 million people, a low tax environment, uh, politically safe and uh, cheap labour labour rates. Uh, one of the most important things is a similar project in Australia would would have a production cost of um, twice the size. Okay, and what is your current presence in Indonesia and plans to expand it? AusAsia's got uh, two projects, a producing iron ore project and a um, coal concession which isn't producing quite yet. Uh, the main aim of the company is to uh, slowly acquire more projects as we get larger. Looking closer at your iron ore interests, where are they located and what are your plans to develop them? The iron ore project's located in West Sumatra, um, 73 kilometres away from Padang, and we intend to um, start full production in the next uh, month or two. And Robert, can you outline your coal interests and strategy to achieve production? We have a um, high CV coal project about 200 kilometres away from Padang. It's uh, low volume but high margin. So Robert, what are the company's funding plans to facilitate the development of these projects? Look, we're um, fully funded now, so we're all set to go to a start production. Great. And now, AusAsia Minerals has also recently restructured. What are the main changes that occurred and what did they achieve? Uh, Colifier Resources was a dormant company, had some small coal projects in Indonesia which, which weren't making any money. So, so the idea was to, to bring in two projects which were revenue positive and to, that's why we renamed it Oz Asia Minerals and we've increased the board uh, to make it more credible. So, so looking forward to a great things in Indonesia. Finally, Robert, what are the board's ambitions for Oz Asia Minerals? You know, the main focus really is to get the iron ore project into full production and then after we start producing 30,000 tonnes a month, we want to acquire some other projects and refocus that. So we'll consolidate and perhaps have three or five mines of the same size with a major ambition to pay dividends back to shareholders. Robert Swarbrick, thank you for the update from Oz Asia Minerals. Thank you for your time.